Hello everyone. My name is Satish and I'm glad to welcome you all to an interesting panel discussion on adverb, our journey and our solutions. Beer Singh. Beer is the chief growth officer at Adverb and brings two decades of experience in project management, product development and designing warehouse automation solutions. Sangeet is the global CEO of Adverb Technologies. He has more than two decades of experience in designing and deploying automation solutions across factories and warehouses. Prabhudev Dakshin Murthy. Prabhu is president sales at Adverb Technologies and leads the sales for India and Australia market. Mark Messina. Mark is the CEO of Adverb Americas and brings extensive experience of scaling global organizations focused on robotics, automation, IoT, AI, and ML. Ankur Yadav leads the key accounts vertical at Adverb and has more than a decade of experience in warehouse operations and has designed automation solutions for a host of companies across different sectors like pharma, fashion and lifestyle, grocery, and e-commerce. We are seeing a change in supply chain paradigm, especially in last two years with the onset of micro-fulfillment centers. Uh, would you like to build on the kind of MFC solution that we have developed and deployed in India? Yes, so uh, some of the MFC solutions that we have deployed will go into the territory of fixed automation. Uh, but the speed, the throughput, because in India, uh, uh, so one M MFC typically uh, caters to a six kilometer radius because that is where you get a volume of 2,000 orders or 5,000 orders a day. Now, this six kilometer radius uh, thing, uh, the throughput is massive, massive. And typically, uh, one grocery order, and mostly it has been uh, for the grocery, one grocery order will have uh, 20 lines, 25 lines. And these 25 lines needs to be uh, brought to the picker, needs to be picked, uh, and these needs to be consolidated at the uh, staging area so that while uh, for, uh, uh, it, is, uh, it is sequenced in the way the uh, routing will happen for the last mile. And these, uh, these are some of the things which we have done using our carton settle, our uh, box set, our software on the top, and the sequencing which we do. So uh, these are some of the MFCs, the earlier ones which we designed, the newer ones which we are designing, it is uh, in the paradigm of flexible automation where uh, we don't have to bolt anything on the ground and it can be uh, extremely, uh, it is very easy to deploy, very fast deployment can happen. Uh, the equipment can uh, start running uh, in one month's time or one and a half month's time once it reaches the site. Uh, in throughput, these are not that great, but for MFC, you don't require that kind of throughput for uh, 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 600 order per day or 800 order per, uh, 800 order per day uh, kind of system. Another beauty is you take anywhere else, 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, you just take our system, put it there, and it will start functioning. Rather than the other way around, wherein we set the automation and the warehouse gets designed based on that. That's pretty interesting, especially since you've operated a lot of warehouses in yeah. your past role. That's really a good benefit to have. Right, right. Very true. So, uh, in last five years, what we have seen is that uh, Adverb has got a lot of Fortune 500 companies, especially a lot of FMCG companies on board. Uh, who have used our solutions, our warehouse automation solutions and our products. What do you think has really worked for us? So I feel the way we uh, approach customer and the way we sub, so like, you know, sell our solutions. So we, we, are, we, we don't treat ourselves like a product company. We treat ourselves as a company which solve customer challenges, which can add value to their business. So uh, in FMCG, we have done a lot of projects. One project which is quite close to us is uh, uh, I think uh, it's among the world's biggest FMCG company and they are quite big in India. So why it's uh, close to us? Because before coming to us, everybody declined that it is not possible. Then we uh, visited their place and we built a concept that it's possible and we presented it to their management and they thought give it a try. Then we deep dive into the data and within like you know, two, three weeks, we were able to present a detailed solution to them. So you mean to say, right from conceptualization to delivering a solution, 
we took only two to three weeks of time. No, so it's a like you know, so designing a solution, not delivering a solution. Designing, designing. Yeah, so it was only two three weeks like, because like you know, we we were so hungry to prove ourselves to them. We really put a lot of efforts and uh, and it was really impressive. Uh, so we got the order. We delivered the order in uh, almost six months. And in that, we were able to solve a large problem from them. So earlier, they were delivering to their customers, which is mostly retailers uh, or Kirana shops or brick and mortar shops. Uh, so they were able to deliver in N plus two days. With our system, now they are able to deliver in N plus one day. And uh, we are doing almost 750,000 each uh, in six hours, which I feel is a very big number, right? And uh, this is what uh, we really take pride because we think like we have created something after giving the solution to the customer, yeah. which was not in India. Like you know, so, so even that company has not used something like this anywhere else in the world. So this is the pride for us. I think it's an advantage that that Adverb has um, that we're able to get an installation done very quickly and efficiently. And that comes from the fact that we have our own software, you know, basically top to bottom, whereas a traditional integrator, they've got a software stack, it's, it's not containerized, so it's very hard to, to modify it, it's very hard to sustain it, it's very hard to deploy it. Um, but our, our software is all containerized, it's on a much more modern platform, much more flexible and easy to deploy. And so this helps us to bring the customer solution on the floor and up and running much faster. Yeah, you're right, Mark. So you won't believe, like after seeing our software working, now they have decided to like you know change uh, their WMS system everywhere in India and every warehouse in India with ours. Yeah, and uh, just to add to what uh, Mark and uh, Bira has been commenting, uh, the this particular project was quite impressive, and then that laid the foundation stone for the project what we talked about. So for them it resonated in terms of 10,000 orders per day and so many uh, uh, tote exchanges in terms of around 2,000 to 2,300 tote exchanges per hour. And uh, order sequencing part, which was also a part of the, the bigger solution development what we did. But in this case, since because of the space limitation, we could only give a part of that solution and that fitted very well in and that's how we were able to bring in the customer to who we are. What, what caught my attention there was that the delivery earlier used to happen in N plus 2. Now it happens in N plus 1. Now, just, just from my point of view, how big of an impact is that actually? So, so this, uh, this N plus 1, we have to understand it in more detail. N plus 1 is there, we, could, we can deliver in 4 hours or 6 hours. The N plus 1 is there because the order intake keeps on happening till 8 p.m. So we keep on queuing the order and till 8 p.m. we don't run the whole batch of orders. And the moment a kid, uh, the mom and pop store uh, punches the order on order management system, one, we saw the inventory, live inventory on the order management system. We uh, exchanged the data and the moment it punches, uh, the uh, uh, inventory is reserved. Uh, uh, and so for the next order, some of the inventory which, has, which is not presented because it is reserved for some other customer, it is not shown to the uh, another mom and pop shop. And these, they keep on doing till 8 p.m. in the night. And then this whole system starts running uh, delivering what we was talking about, uh, 700,000 or 800,000 items. And because India has restriction of large vehicles entering the city during daytime or do after 8 a.m. in the morning, these need to go to these uh, cross dock location before 8 a.m. so that on smaller vehicle it can be delivered to the mom and pop shop. So that is how this N plus one day comes into so picture. So effect effectively all of the picking and delivery to smaller docks is happening in 12 hours. Yes. yes. And would you take that as a warehouse operations manager ever? <laughs> <laughs> this, this is actually a great impact. Uh, we were discussing about the e-commerce which e-commerce has bought in. Okay. Uh, 
थ्री इयर्स फाइव इयर्स बैक इट वॉज द कंपनी विच यूज टू गवर्न इन हाउ मेनी डेज द डिलीवरी विल हैपन टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर और द रिटेलर बट नाउ इट्स द अदर वे राउंड अर्लियर कंपनी यूज टू गवर्न हाउ मेनी एस के यूज आई नीड टू स्टॉक अप एट द डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर फ्रंट सो अ वेयर हाउस वॉज इजिली मैनेजिंग से थाउजेंड टू थाउजेंड एस के यूज बट नाउ दैट किटी हैज ब्लोन अप टू टेन थाउजेंड एस के यू विच द डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर वॉन्ट्स ओके सो देयर द प्रेशर इज देयर ऑन द वेयर हाउस ऑन द कंपनीज टू एक्चुअली ऑटोमेट इट बिकॉज वन दे वुड वॉन्ट अ फास्टर डिलीवरी अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ एस के यूज प्रोबेबली द परसेंटेज ऑफ केस इन केस आउट वुड रिड्यूस टू थर्टी एंड द ईच पिकिंग वुड इंक्रीज टू सेवेंटी वेयर इन इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर अ for a normal manual warehouse to pick so much in a day or two and earlier the inventory turn around uh, if it is once in a month or twice in a month it was considered great 15 days inventory you are carrying and uh, two days uh, twice in a month uh, the turn around is happening and it was great now uh, people expect these warehouses to do five turn arounds 10 turn arounds now that means you are keeping a lean inventory 3 days inventory for all the 10000 sks which and in a grocery setup that is that is that is what the world is moving towards so in that shell it's like there were lot of inefficiencies right holding more inventory is an inefficiency delivering in 4 5 days is inefficiency so all these inefficiencies we are actually like you know taking as a challenge and solving it so that people can work or the warehouses can work quite lean and serve their customers and users uh, in a faster time